Hello fellow simmers, and welcome to this tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. Have you ever received this error? It's the dreaded 1-8004-005 error that can happen at no notice. So, as always, first thing I do is check Microsoft's website and see what they have for options to try. And I don't really see anything too exciting. I just happened to notice that there's no multiplayer on my FSX acceleration flight simulator, but my airplanes appear to be there. So I go to Flight One Software's registry repair and download that. It just takes a moment for it to download. And then uh, right click run as administrator and repair the FSX registry path and what you have to do is you have to navigate to your FSX and find the execute file which is FSX.exe click on that hit open and then it tells your registry that you found it and it's okay so after doing that, I went ahead and I started up FSX and it's already set for run as administrator, but get the same error. I always, uh, for some reason, do it that way. So back to the Microsoft website for some tips. And uh, I've got a couple links down there. So let's, you know see what they're going to do for me. Let's go with this one here. And ah, that's nice. It's not active. Fantastic. Back to the website we go. Let's try the one down below it. And ah, <laughs> information abound. Ah, share my experience. <laughs> I don't think you want that. Now, what I'm going to do is try to repair the FSX acceleration pack. I'm not going to bore you with how to repair anything for your acceleration. It's pretty obvious. You just click the repair button and let it do its thing. I'm going to actually go into the reg edit because I read something here where you can check out a uh, registry thing that could be offset. And you're going to go to the local machine down to system current control set, control, class, and you're going to have to pause this because this is a long number. <laughs> and then once you look at the number here, you're going to go down to the upper filters, and you're going to want to make sure that says part MGR, and hit OK. If it doesn't say part MGR, you're going to change that. Do this at your own risk. It's always good to make a backup. So, anyway, I've reinstalled the acceleration pack. It's asking me to activate it now. And then we're just going to type in our product key that came with your uh, acceleration pack. And then once you get that in there, go ahead and activate it to finish. And uh, we're restarting FSX now, and it looks like we're going to start out okay. <clears throat> Once this gets going, though, we're going to check to make sure that we have the multiplayer back on and uh, everything is good to go. And then what I like to do is simply do another restart because I want to make sure that it's truly fixed. And it uh, popped up anyway, that's good. And it looks like we have everything. 
We've got our settings, and we got everything there. Our scenery appears to be intact. Free flight is good. Mission's good. Multiplayer is in there. I would say we're good to go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to close out of this. And once again, start it up. This time I'm just going to double click on it. I know it's set to administrator like I said earlier. And uh, we're starting up. No issues. And it does take a second. And like I said, if you have the PRTS MGR in that key, I think it's just a simple matter of doing the repair for acceleration. So what you're basically going to do is just uh, pop your acceleration disc back in, click the repair button on it, and let it do its thing. You're going to reactivate it as you normally would, and that should take care of you. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it. If you like what you see, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Flight Sim Productions.